Let me tell you from experience that the deep web is a disgusting human cesspit. You don't know what lies in the darkest recesses of the human psyche until you go on there. I learned that the hard way. I got suckered in by the crazy stories and the hype my friends gave it. I wanted to see it for myself. So, last week I downloaded Tor and started browsing. I didn't feel the need for any extra protection, being completely new to the entire concept. In retrospect, I wish I had. I spent hours clicking link after link after link, and I was starting to get bored and a little freaked out. I'd found a whole host of your typical crackheads searching for drugs, sites with hitmen for hire, and a shit ton of other military-grade weaponry. At one point I found myself scrolling through post after post of vivid descriptions of animal abuse, and how the sick fuckers who commit those atrocities get off on them every night. I wish I'd closed my computer right then and there, but something kept my curiosity alight. Honestly, I think some part of me just wanted to see how fucked up the human mind truly could be. After a few more links to child porn and a couple of drug markets, I'd had enough. This is it, I sighed to myself. One more link, and I swear I'm getting out of this hellhole. I clicked the link, going blindly into what, unbeknownst to me, would alter my already cynical views on humanity. The first thing that caught my eye was the curly pink font that served as the title of the opening page. It read, Peace and Love. I remember it all too clearly, as it seemed so out of place in that slum of human refuse, formerly known as the Deep Web. I scrolled down to find an image album and a simple chat box. No one was online at the moment, so I went ahead and clicked the first set of pictures. I was not ready for what I was about to see. The very first picture was that of a young, pregnant woman, bawling her eyes out. She looked scrawny and thin, with cuts and bruises marring her pale skin. She looked scared and malnourished, like she was begging for her life. I clicked on the next photograph and nearly vomited. The young woman from before now sat in a chair, facing the camera, her dead, dull eyes boring into me. She was covered in blood, and her abdomen had been torn open. In her cold, unfeeling arms, she held the child, still attached at the umbilical cord. Its half-formed, lifeless body was a deep crimson with blood and one could tell it had been forcibly ripped from the womb. On the wall just behind them, written in their blood, were the words, I gave them peace, in harsh, hasty letters. I don't know what possessed me to scroll through the photo. It was as if I couldn't control myself. The images only got more and more grotesque as I looked further. The following images seem to be a time-lapse of the decomposition of the body. I watched them rot, sitting there together. I watched the face of the mother, which could have once been considered beautiful, wither and collapse in on itself as a fetid mound of flesh. By the end of the series of images, there were nothing but decimated skeletons. I would have noped it the fuck out of there, had it not been for a message that popped up on my screen. It was from the website chat. It read exactly as follows. Hello there. 
Do you like what you see? Do you want more? Do you want to attain true peace? I didn't know how to respond. I was rooted to my chair with fear. Then, the sicko spoke again. You don't have to be scared, Zachary. I love you. I want to help you. Let me help you. I managed to type a simple question. How in the name of hell do you know my name? Almost immediately, I got a response. I know everything about you. You know, you really shouldn't leave your curtains open like that. You'll get a draft. You see, I just want to help you. Please, just let me save you. My eyes flashed to the uncovered window behind me, to the light of my webcam. My heart skipped a beat when I realized it was on. That sick fucker was watching me. I made a move to pull the plug on the sick son of a bitch when another message popped up. Don't try to shut me out. I'll bring you peace. I swear, Zachary Tanner. It's the only real bliss in this world. That was the last message I got before I finally shut it off. Needless to say, I stayed off the internet for a long while after that. Just today I got back on, praying to God that it would all have blown over. <laughs> oh, how wrong I was. I logged into my email only to find it spammed with mails from an account named I'll Show You Peace. Each one had the same message. I want to save you. I want to love you. I want to bring you peace. All in capital letters. But that wasn't even the worst of it. Each and every message had a candid photo of me taken within the last week. I've tried to involve the police but they haven't been much help. Please tell me, what do I do?